Yo, what's up guys, Eki here. NHL 23 World Championships have been announced. Let's see what we have in store this year. The whole tournament is rebranded. It was called NHL Gaming World Championships. Now it's NHL 23 World Championships. Prize pool is $150,000 in total. That is great. You can play on all four consoles. Maybe I was hoping it's next gen only this year, but I get it. So many players still in the old gen. And this info was announced like three weeks ago that it's on four consoles. So I have done my old gen team as well. Uh, talk about that later. And there's more tournaments this year in general. So not only uh, European Championships, North American Championships and World Championships. There's more stuff on top of that. So interesting, interested to tell or see how that goes. Rex there. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> Uh, tournament format. Okay, I'm European, so we will watch Europe's format if you want to see North America's format. I have the link to this tournament site in the description. So here's the schedule. European New Year's Open, European Shell Showdown, an online open play and console finals. So open play and console finals we've had before. New Year's Open and Shell Showdowns are totally new. Oh, looks like this is on Xbox X and this is on PlayStation 5. Interesting. What? Open plays only for old games. So New Year's Open January. Chess Showdown February, Open Play March, Co European Console Finals March to April, European Championships live on May 6th. Interesting. Here we go, European pricing. New Year's Open 2000, Chess Showdown 2000 for first, European Championships 15,000, and then we do have the World Finals this year. 28,000 for first place. Price pool for the winner is smaller than the last time we had World Championships in 19, but there's more to play. And the price pool is like split way more, so I do understand it. For official rules, click here. All right. Oh my God, I'm nervous. I won't go through all of this. Let's just go to the most important stuff. NH23 European Championship. Qualifier 1 and European New Year's Open. Top 32 ranked players participate in a bracket tournament from which the top four finishers qualify for the European Console Final. Okay, and if you win this, you get... Two grand, top four, get a straight pass to console final, which I believe is 64 players. European Shell Showdown is the exact same thing, but Shell Showdown was for PS5, and this is for the Nugent Xbox. Qualifier 3, an online open play. This is familiar for us in the past, past years. Players across the generation 4 consoles and the designated number of players across the generation 5 consoles qualify for the European console final. So in the graphic it said it's old game only, uh, the open play, but I think that was a mistake. At, at least it sounds like it. So online open play is the same as it's been before. European console final. So 64 players from the old game and 64 from the new game will be in the console final. So wait a minute, only four players get to the European Championships this year. Two from each console generation. Oh wow, okay. And then the world final consisting of top two players from each, the North American Championship and the European Championship. Okay, so two players from Europe will fly over to North America to play against two North Americans. The North American console final, European console final, online open plays are cross-console events, meaning players from Xbox One can compete against players on PlayStation 4. Players on Xbox X can play against PlayStation 5 players. All the other qualifiers will be played among players on the same console. Yeah, so the European shell showdown and whatever it was. Sponsor reversed the right to adjust any cross-console events, so players compete only against the players on the same console, and these tournament rules may be adjusted accordingly with the advanced notice to the players. Well, this would be the advanced notice, like, come on now, I have to decide which console to play with. Europe, everything is hot. And the first tournament... Okay. Okay, it's in January. All the in-person events will be a hot team draft. That's great. I would wish a hot team draft would become a thing like earlier on that we wouldn't have to use our own teams. That that would be fair for everyone. So this is the interesting part about the tournament. Players may register for an online qualifier on only one console. So you you can't play on multiple consoles in this tournament or try to make it on multiple consoles. Players who attempt to participate on more than one console will be qualified, disqualified. <laughs> Here's actually more in detail of what the formats are for each tournament. I don't want, I don't know if I want to go over all of this, but the most interesting thing is, uh, so European console final, to make it to the European finals, it's again single elimination, best of three. So no room for error. You have a bad best of three, you're out of the tournament. That's the way GWC has always been. I would maybe hope for a longer format, but that basically makes it interesting when it's one on one one and done and, and that's what makes this tournament like one of a kind you play for huge prizes and you have such a little room for error 
I kinda like it, but uh, obviously that means the best players will not always be there. And the European Championship, yeah, only four players make it to the European Championship. Four players play round around Robin with each other, so everybody plays each other one time. The guy who's number one automatically gets to the World Championships, and the second and third place finishers play a best of three series to decide the other World Championship competitor. And World Finals is exactly the same format as the European Finals. So they've changed it up a lot this year. I like this for format more more than I've liked the years prior. Only thing I don't like is only four ma players making it to the European Championship, but I get it, NHL is a small esport. Everything costs less players, less it costs for the organizer. You know the thing. But here's where I need your help. I have no idea what console to play with, especially after these announcements. I think we have to assume that it will be crossplay, even though they said they can change it, but we have to assume it will be crossplay. Right now, I think I will play on the PlayStation 4, because the World Championships are more important for me than the actual European showdown things. But if I would play on the Nugent Xbox, I could get the additional two grand from winning the European Showdown or whatever it was. But that would mean if I want to make the European Championships, then I would have to face all of the new game players in the console final part. And uh, every everybody good basically plays on the new game. Some players have moved already to the to the old games, w w which makes sense. So yeah, let me know in the comments what would you like me to do. Anyway, hot content will be back. Road to Glory will be over. How quickly these tournaments are, I have to spend money to be able to do good on the tournaments, especially with only so few players making it. I need the best team possible before it gets to the team draft stage. We will have Road to NHL 23 World Championship Series. We just need to know what console. So I really need your guys' help on the comments. Rose on the Nugent Xbox. I can play the European New Year's Open. Not many players on the Nugent Xbox, so placing on the money is basically guaranteed. Or it's never guaranteed, but I have a great chance to win this tournament, let's be honest. Also, I have a better team on the Xbox, just because I played on the console. Uh, for most of the year. Cons is tougher competition to make it to the European finals. I most likely have to play more good players on the new games, especially when it's crossplay. The PlayStation 5 players come in. It will be tough. It will be tough regardless, but yeah, even tougher on the new game. And I need to spend more money uh, do this team. Even though I have a better team to start with, which I had in the pros list, European New Year's Open is already in January. I would need to spend money to get a competitive team in January. Pros and cons on the PS4. Pros, like I said earlier, lesser competition on the PS4 or in the old games. At least right now, cons can't play in the European Showdown. Just actually, two grand is a lot at the end of the day, but it's not the same as 28,000 <laughs> for winning the World Finals. And then I have a worse team on the PS4. But if I play on the old games, my World Championships would start in March, so I would have a long time to gather my team and would need to spend less money. So yeah, you guys can help me with the decision. I don't know. Help me out. What do you think of the GWC format? If you're interested to read the format yourself, if you're North American, if you want to know what the format is like in North America, I will leave the link to you in the description. I will leave the Christmas holidays, so this series will probably start only after New Year. Maybe an episode before I leave. Let's see. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. Drop a comment and see you next time.